Hi, this is Igor from HDHead.com. Since Resolve Vision 15 came out with this new scripting and all different kinds of abilities, the question came up whether or not it's possible to generate titles and slates dynamically in Resolve using scripting or using any other means. The answer is yes, it is possible. I'm going to show you how to do it without the scripting, although scripting could certainly be a part of that. In order to understand this better, you need to be familiar with the new Resolve Fusion title templates. I made a whole another tutorial on that subject. You should probably watch it first, so just read the manual pages if you're not familiar with that. But in essence, the title templates are Fusion macros that you can place on the edit pages timeline. This is going to get real boring real fast, so before I lose everyone, I'm just going to show you the best stuff at the front. And for those more advanced users, they can stick around for the end, or maybe I'll break this into two tutorials. I have this little proof of concept application. And this directory is the Windows path where the custom user templates live. If I click on the dated slate, it just created something in that directory. And let's click on this one. It takes a little longer because it's actually pulling something off the internet. And there it goes. So we have created two dot setting files, which are actually these types of files. Now, what we just created is not in this list because unfortunately what happens is resolve loads these only at the launch and doesn't pick the new presets placed in that directory after the fact. So what we have to do is we have to restart Resolve. And now that Resolve has been restarted, we can click here on the titles. Let's scroll down and we have two title presets that match these two file names up here. Let's take a look at them. I'm going to drag and drop this title onto the timeline and it has a date, today's date, and the time. So that was the exact time when I clicked on that dated slate button. Well, let's click on it again just to verify. So I clicked it. Let's drag this again. And now it's 10.51.47. If you don't believe me, we can do it third time. And drag it, and drop it, and we have the third time. Okay, I'll clear these three and let's look at this other dynamic title. I will select the out and extend it a little bit. You'll see why. If I push play, this is a lower third crawl of Bundesliga football results, the German football soccer league, and it's current. What happened when I press this button, the app retrieved the RSS feed from the Bundesliga website and formatted it in a way that can work with this template. Cool. One thing to clarify is, remember when we first clicked on that timestamp? It was, I believe, 10 o'clock in the morning. Well, now it's later in the day. And if we do that again, date it slate, the title will update. It was uh, 2 o'clock, 4 minutes, 56 seconds when I clicked on it. I'm calling this dynamic titles, but they're not dynamic in the sense that they're being constantly updated in, within Resolve. Uh, if I place the second one, it has the exact same time. They're dynamic at the time of creation, which is at the time this little app generates these templates. And that's both good and bad. Of course, if you were using this to make slates and date those, you probably wouldn't want, want those dates to change every time you open the timeline. You would want the date stamp to reflect the time when the timeline was made. You can download this little app from my website. It's currently only available for Windows. It's really a proof of concept. It's not something you could use. But if you want to play with it, go ahead and download it from hdhead.com. In the second part of this tutorial, we'll go over the source code, which is platform agnostic. You can use it on uh, Linux, Mac, or Windows, and you can also modify it and build your own apps from that. Thank you for watching.